Hello everybody. I hope you are happy and healthy there. Today I am with our next video, a different video uh, about essay writing. Today I'm going to I'm going to tell you um, something about how to write an introductory paragraph. So essay writing it has three different parts: body, introduction, body, and conclusion. I'm telling you something about the ways to write introductory paragraph. So basically, writing an introduction paragraph is not an easy task, and it, requir it requires some technical things also. So in this video, I'll be telling you the very easiest ways, or uh, the very uh, technical or effective ways of composing your introductory paragraph. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the very basic kind of components or uh, the uh, parts, elements of introductory paragraph. Here we have three uh, basic components. They are hook, general statement, and thesis statement. Um, a hook sentence, as its, it's word tells us, it is used to attract somebody's attention. The general statement, it is just the definition or meaning of the term. And thesis, this is the guiding sentence for the whole body paragraph in our essay. So here, uh, hook sentence is used to attract the attention of our reader. You see, sometimes our reader won't be uh, interested to read our essay if we don't write the catchier, interesting ideas in our essay. So this is the first sentence in our introductory paragraph or in our essay that really helps us to divert the attention of the uh, readers so that we need to mention the catchy and interesting words or sentences uh, to get their attention or to get the attention of our reader. Here I have an example of uh, the topic is role of tourism for the economic development of Nepal. It's hook sentence, you see. I've not defined this. Tourism as is tourism is as worth as a milking cow for the economic development of Nepal. I have not defined it, I have not written its meaning, right? No, but I have written the thing that is related to this, so it can really attract the attention. Next is causes and effects of social problems and innocent girls bond, uh, bonds in the pretext of which and a daughter is offered in the temple, just like that. We can relate in that way, right? And general statement, uh, unlike this statement, we'll be writing the definitions, meanings, uh, quotations, facts that is related to the title or the topic. Uh, sometimes uh, some people they uh, define or they write the meaning of the term in Tom or the title in the very first that's that is not the good way rather we, we need to write it after we write the thesis statement I'm sorry hook sentence and then we write the thesis statement so um, on the other hand thesis statement is the guiding sentence that is a statement that helps and directs a writer or a person to develop body paragraphs and link them together the topic and the topic it, it can have many aspects and what aspects you are going to write in your essay or you are going to follow in your essay that is the thesis statement it it restricts or it um, uh, excludes other unnecessary ideas or uh, the development of body paragraphs for example here importance of technology in education thesis statement new technology has become an integral part of education since it provides educations uh, provides teacher and students with plenty of opportunities with access to teaching learning materials and interaction here i'll be talking about how teacher and students will be uh, just having importance or will be benefited by the use of new technology i won't be talking about other aspects as it has other aspects also so that we have to talk about uh, in the hook sentence this statement and general statement in our essay we have to uh, mention we have to mention it we have to maintain the things um, in such a way that it looks like our essay. First, we need to man we need to write the thesis statement uh, before we go through the body paragraph. Uh, so, in, in the case of introductory paragraph, we need to write the hook sentence that can really attract the attention of the reader, and then general statement and the topics in that thesis statement. So, here I have uh, got sample um, introductory paragraph about some topics. You can go through that also. So the topic is importance of technology in education. Uh, the hook sentence: Education is always imperfect without new technology like computer and the internet. So it can be a hook sentence rather than defining um, what is education. We can write these things as our hook sentence. 
and student and teacher in this modern era are often in, in complete with the, without the access to new technology or the things like this uh, can be the general statements for this introductory paragraph you see the thesis statement have written thesis statement here new technology has become an integral part of education since it provides teachers and students with plenty of opportunities with access to teaching learning materials and interaction it's a thesis statement that i will uh, write the body paragraphs on the on the basis of this i'll be talking about how teacher will be benefited by the use of new technology in education and how the students will make a use of new technology in their learning process similarly i have got another example here role of tourism for the economic development of nepal introductory paragraph you see tourism has been seen as a milking cow as the milking cow for the economic development of nepal and uh, it's uh, we, we can talk about um, other aspects related to tourism it has a great prospect in nepal, in nepal because it is enriched with lots of mind blowing tourist centers it is the fastest tourism is the fastest growing industry which provides different services it's the uh, we say general statements and you can see that the system in tourism is the catalyst for the economic development of nepal as it helps in earning foreign currency creating employment opportunity i'll be talking about how tourism how tourism helps in the uh, in earning foreign currency and in uh, getting uh, employment opportunities there right so next example i have here causes and effects of social problems this is cause and effect essay so it can be written in a bit different way it has its own pattern here i have a um, hook sentence here for you an innocent gets bound in the pretext of witch and a daughter gets offered in the temples and monasteries in our society so this is what you call the problem of our society right a so social problem we can link this social problem in in this way uh, so uh, this is what do you call this statement and the problems there are so many problems which which are the hurdles or obstacles or bottlenecks for our for the development of our society this is what we call general statement and uh, here i have written some of the causes traditional beliefs irrational traditional beliefs, poverty lack of awareness these are the causes of the social problem of such social problems in our society, in our society and they have lots of negative or adverse effects in our human life or in the development of society so these are the consequences who i'll be talking about in my body paragraph next topic is importance of using library i need to focus um, on importance right importance of using library how does or in what ways library is important a library carries the most advantageous function however most of the students are fascinated by e-library um, still uh, some of the students and teachers they, they are using library although there is the influence of e-library and library is really important for the uh, readers or for the students or teachers who want to uh, be updated about the about their knowledge right uh, one can have his or her leisure entertained reading books of a particular interest right or other they can consult any books uh, for their uh, knowledge also now you see this is the thesis, this is general statement and thesis statement of this uh, topic or of this essay can be a library is not a mere collection of series of books rather than the best means of rather the best means of making teacher resourceful and promoting autonomous learning so here i'll be talking about two aspects how does library help to help teachers to make them resourceful and how does it help students to make or uh, to uh, maintain their autonomous learning so this is what we call uh, complete paragraph complete introductory paragraph so here i gave you some examples of complete introductory paragraph and uh, in that uh, com introductory paragraph i i have written the main, main three parts uh, hook sentence or hook word uh, general statements and thesis statements basically a hook word or hook sentence is written in a single sentence and generally the general statements are written in two or three sentences no more than three sentences and thesis statement it's written in a single sentence that is the guiding sentence for our essay that will uh, that will guide our body paragraph also so in this way we can talk about we can we can write the body paragraphs uh, with the help of our introductory paragraph uh, so thank you everybody i hope uh, you got some insights about developing introductory paragraph if you have any queries any problems 
you can um, leave comment uh, below and next I'll be talking about how to write or how to compose body paragraphs with the help of the thesis statement we have developed in the introductory paragraph. Thank you everybody. Have a nice day.